Bitcoin and Ethereum hit new all-time highs this week. Are we about to experience the epic altcoin super cycle we've all been waiting for this bull run? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going through my altcoin picks for this potential incoming altcoin super cycle. If you're a long-term viewer or listener, you know I cashed out about 60% of my crypto portfolio for a variety of reasons. One, Tether had released their long-awaited attestation of assets, which garnered a ton of attention by regulators. Two, I had been investing in cryptocurrency since about 2015 and had never sold anything ever up to the point this past July, except for my EOS back in 2017 to pay off my student so I was not about to lose out on six years worth of gains in case we were headed to an extended multi-year bear market like we experienced last bull run. And three, I was diversifying into real estate and needed cash to settle those transactions. Nice. So here we are at the beginning of Q4 and what seems to be shaping up to be a potential altcoin super cycle. So I am ready to lock in some positions to ride a potential huge upside wave through the rest of this year. Here's some things to keep in mind throughout this video. One, this is absolutely not financial advice. Two, I have no idea if we are actually going to experience an altcoin super cycle soon. I could be completely wrong. The market could be manipulated upwards or downwards. Unexpected regulations could render some projects worthless. Some unforeseen black swan event could cause it all to come crashing down. The stock market could crash, a glitch or a huge hack could send us spiraling into oblivion. So no one really knows how the crypto markets are going to behave throughout the rest of 2021. Three, we all need to assess our own personal, unique financial situations, as well as our risk profiles. Some people are living paycheck to paycheck. Some people have spouses, kids, and pets that rely on them financially. Some people have a ton of money to throw around with no one financially dependent on them. Some people are risk averse and wouldn't be able to sleep at night or relax because watching this insane market terrifies them while others don't even feel anything when they see their funds drop 90% or more. Some people are young and have time on their side when making risky investments, while others are older, no longer working, and maybe have a fixed amount of money they need to protect in order to live out the rest of their lives. So assess yourself. Remember the number one rule of investing in crypto. Never ever invest more than you can afford to lose. And four, in altcoin super cycles, literally almost everything goes up. No matter which project, unless it's a blatant scam, encounters a glitch or hack or similar. So if a project you're invested in is not on this list, it's most likely going up if we go through an altcoin super cycle. No one can have all the cryptocurrencies. There are thousands of them. And if you over diversify into too many of them, you're not going to experience as much gains. So if you're working with $100, stick to one or two projects. If you're working with $1,000, stick to three to six plays. 10,000, six to 12 plays, et cetera. And five, the most important thing to keep in mind if you choose to gamble that we are headed into an altcoin super cycle is to take profits along the way. How to take profits. Taking profits in crypto is when you are up in a cryptocurrency position, you sell some of it and either convert it into larger market cap cryptos like Bitcoin and Ether to hold for the long term, or you sell some of it for cash to diversify into other investments like stocks, real estate, or similar or you use the cash to pay off debt, or maybe you buy something nice for yourself, or maybe you use the cash for an experience like a vacation. One profit-taking strategy may be that once you double your investment, you decide to take out the initial investment. For example, if you bought $100 worth of cryptocurrency and the value doubles to 200, and then you sell the initial 100 you invested for Bitcoin or Ether or for cash, and let the $100 worth of gains stay in the market longer in hopes that it continues to increase. Another strategy could be that for every 50% increase, you sell 25% of it. For example, if you bought $100 worth of a cryptocurrency and the value increases to $150, then you sell $25 worth. So profit taking is something everyone needs to decide based on our own unique financial situations as well as our risk profiles. Awesome. Now that we are all on the same page, let's take a look at my altcoin super cycle bets. All right, all right, all right. So I'm allocating equal amounts of funds to each project because it's just easier for me to keep track of. Let's hit it. Polkadot, currently at $43. It has a large market cap in its use case of becoming a cross-chain platform that allows interoperability between different blockchain ecosystems like Ethereum, Cardano, and similar will be extremely valuable for the space at large. Its all-time high was about $49 back in May of 2021. A potential altcoin super cycle coupled with the fact that Polkadot's parachain auctions begin November 11th have me bullish. Avalanche. 
currently at $64. It has a large market cap. It is a layer one solution that is fast, low cost, and their team has recently expanded their marketing efforts, putting this thing on the map fast, despite its recent mainnet launch in September 2020. Its all-time high was about $79 a month ago. And check out this bullish tweet from our favorite crypto macroeconomist. To what extent are layer one chains retaining the value inflows to their ecosystem? Avalanche, 45%. Terra, 22%, Phantom, 28%. This was measured by bridge inflow outflow data from August 1st to now. In case it's not obvious, some are better at keeping their customers than others. Shiba Inu, currently at 0 0.00003 cents. It has a large market cap despite being a meme coin. But hey, in an altcoin super cycle where everything goes up, meme coins are usually people's first cryptocurrency they buy. And when they do, they FOMO in hard. What I like about this coin is the price per token. It's 0.00003 cents. So people buy a ton of it thinking it's going to hit $1, which would be ludicrous. Its circulating supply is 479 trillion. If it went to a dollar, that would be its market cap. And just to put that into perspective, the total market cap of the entire gold market in the world is only 13 trillion. Yeah, crazy. Polygon, my sweet, sweet Matic will always hold a special place in my heart. It was one some of us got in super early on together and made out pretty good for a relatively short amount of time. Polygon is one of the top layer two solutions that will carry Ethereum through its 2.0 upgrade over the next few years. Its ecosystem is growing like crazy. It's fast, it's efficient, and will still be relevant after completion of the 2.0 upgrade because there is enough space in this market for multiple platforms to exist. And every day it's becoming more and more entrenched in the Ethereum ecosystem. Its price per token is low, which attracts people when looking at alts to buy. Its all-time high was about $2.62 back in May, so it's likely to at least hit that in an alt rally. The graph, currently at $0.89, cents, decent sized market cap. The graph is a super overlooked gem in my opinion because it's basically a decentralized blockchain-based replacement for Google in that it's an indexing protocol that organizes blockchain data and allows developers to build serverless decentralized applications that operate on decentralized public infrastructures. So it organizes data from blockchains like Ethereum and then groups the data into open APIs that anyone can access. It makes all of the information stored on the blockchain extremely more useful and accessible. Its all-time high was $2.84 back in February of 2021, so I'm thinking it could at least hit that in an alt cycle. Kusama, currently at $382. Kusama is a blockchain network that basically serves as a sandbox or testing environment for software developers for the Polkadot ecosystem. Basically, any projects looking to launch on Polkadot would test their applications on Kusama before ultimately deploying on Polkadot. So if you're bullish on Polkadot, Kusama is a no-brainer. And remember the parachain auction launch next month? Its all-time high was about $621 back in May, so it could probably hit that in an alt run. Thorchain, currently at $10.75. Thorchain is a decentralized liquidity solution that allows its users to seamlessly move cryptocurrencies across different platforms like Bitcoin to Ethereum, Polkadot to Solana, or similar. Cross-chain transactions and the ability to swap assets between different ecosystems are extremely useful and will be important for the future of the cryptocurrency space. Its all-time high was about $20 back in May, so we could reach those levels in an alt rally. AMP, currently at four cents. AMP is another important player in the DeFi space. It acts as a digital collateral that offers instant verification and assurances for all kinds of value transfer. It's basically a collateral manager that gives blockchain networks the ability to verify, lock, release, and redirect collateral to support transfer activities. Its all-time high was 12 cents back in June of 2021, so we could see another run-up in an alt season. Engine, currently around $1.83. Engine is a platform meant to simplify the process of creating and using non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. And if you don't know what NFTs are and their implications for the future of blockchain and the world at large, you can check out my video guide all about NFTs by clicking on the link above. If you're bullish on NFTs, gaming, art, and the like, Engine is a must-have. Its all-time high was about $3.94 back in April of 2021, so in a run, we could see those prices again. Also, I think NFT projects like this will eventually behave differently and apart from regular market cycles. So Engine and a few others on this list could potentially become hedges in the future against traditional stock and crypto market movements. Decentraland, currently at 79 cents. Decentraland is a virtual reality world built on the Ethereum blockchain where users can buy digital land, build on it, 
monetize it, and interact with other content created in this universe. People can buy, sell, use, and trade NFTs on the platform, as well as explore and interact with other users. Just this past week, they hosted the first Metaverse music festival. Its all-time high was about $1.60, so we could see those price levels again in a rally. Moon River, currently at $397. This is a smart contract parachain on Kusama, which, like we mentioned before, if you're bullish on Polkadot, be bullish on Kusama, and by proxy, be bullish on Moon River. Also, this platform is completely compatible with Ethereum, so it has bridges that connect it to existing Ethereum networks. Its all-time high was about $4.94 last month, so in an alt cycle, we could reach those levels again. The Sandbox, currently at 76 cents. This is another virtual reality world built on the Ethereum network where Snoop Dogg has built his mansion and entertainment venue for fans. All users in this metaverse have true ownership of the assets in the virtual world in the form of NFTs. Players and creators can participate in a whole new economy together, which as adoption continues, has me bullish. Its all-time high was about $1.19, which in a run we may see again. Illuvium, currently at $801, another interesting player in the NFT gaming sector. It's a decentralized gaming studio that creates functional, high-value NFTs that are playable in their universe of games. They are currently in the middle of developing their first game, which is expected to be the first AAA blockchain-based game with incredible graphics. It's currently close to its all-time high of $835, but I think we are still early on this one as the market cap is only about $500 million right now. UFO Gaming, currently at 0. .00001 cent. I'm sure you're starting to see a pattern here. Yes, I'm starting to pivot heavily into the gaming and NFT space because of reasons we will break down together in my upcoming NFT trilogy series, so stay tuned for that. This one is currently hitting all-time highs, but the market cap is still a bit small, sitting at around $300 million. UFO Gaming is a social gaming token that will be used in a play-to-earn metaverse where players can trade virtual land, NFTs, and will also feature a gaming launchpad. And for my final moon bag, Altura, currently hitting all-time highs right now at 9 cents, with a small market cap of 56 million, this is definitely the riskiest play in the portfolio. Currently, in-game items are centralized and not easily exchangeable. So Altura is a platform that will allow game developers to create, distribute, and trade in-game NFT items. They are identifying themselves as the next generation gaming NFT platform. So we shall see. Cool. So if you're looking to make some bets on an alt season using the crypto.com link below, you can get $25 worth of crypto for free. And using the Coinbase link below, you can get $10 of Bitcoin for free once you invest $100 or more. Or if you just want to hold for the long term and earn interest on your crypto, you can get up to a $250 Bitcoin bonus with BlockFi when you use the link below. Or if you want to hold your crypto super securely offline for the long term, make sure to check out the correct and official sites of my recommended hardware wallets. BC Vault is my personal favorite. Another option are the Ledger Nano devices, so scroll down to check them out. If you need more income to buy more crypto and you're interested in learning how to become a developer in the space, check out Ivan on Tech's Academy. Using the link below, you can access the Academy at a discounted price, so scroll down to check it out. Awesome. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more crypto content. So, do you think we will experience an altcoin super cycle? Or do you think we already had it this past spring? What do you think of these altcoin supercycle bets? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.